video. I wanted to talk a little bit about ways you can get better sleep because my entire life I had a very interesting relationship with sleep. Even sometimes I would say a painful relationship with sleep. I have never, like, I nev it was always hard for me to fall asleep. I was a very light sleeper. It was hard for me to stay asleep. Uh, and I would wake up just not feeling rested and just still feeling tired and I just felt like I could never get enough sleep and I just wanted to stay in bed all the time because the sleep I was getting wasn't even very restful because it was just so light. Um, and I never, I, there was a point and I was in my mid-twenties and I remember thinking, I'm going to go my entire life without ever experiencing what a good night's sleep is like. Um, and that was kind of sad. Uh, but that's not true because I have kind of gotten there to where I can get a good night's sleep now finally. It only took 30 years. I'm, you know, I'm 30 now and finally I know how to sleep. That's crazy. Uh, but so I wanted to share with you some of the tips that have helped me learn to get a better sleep. Uh, so the first one is I have noticed that the blue lights that are in like the electronics really bug my eyes. Actually blue lights bother me in general. Uh, they kind of like work me up. It's hard to explain the feeling. It's just like there's like this tingling electricity feeling um, I get from them. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. But the, I, I started using the program F Lux on my phone a long time ago and then now with the Apple products it's built in and you can get it on your laptop too where it has an orange tint over the blue and cancels out the blue in your screen. And you know, you see I have the orange tint on my glasses to cancel out blue and lights. Uh, and really canceling out that blue light has been really good for me for a lot of reasons, but it has to have a big impact on my sleep. And so I try not to expose myself to that, especially right before bedtime. Another thing I try not to do before bedtime is eat. Uh, I try to give myself like three hours before I'm going to go to bed and I don't eat if I'm going to go to bed within two or three hours because then I will ha it just disrupts my sleep. I also avoid caffeine. If you love caffeine, maybe try not to have it past lunchtime or the af like too late in the afternoon. It really does have a big impact. Also sugar, I've cut sugar out of my diet and that has had a really big impact on my sleep as well. It's not, there's not any one cut and dry solution to this, but there are a lot of things that you can do as a whole to take care of your sleep health. I tried those melatonin pills and things like that and that really never helped me. Um, the only thing that has helped me is changing my lifestyle. The other thing that's really important for me is going to bed at the same time every single night and pretty much getting up at about the same time every day. And. I used to have this other problem where I was like obsessed with my alarm clock not going off and I would have literally like wake up from nightmares and night terrors like afraid my alarm hadn't go off, gone off and I was late for work and I would fall asleep with these thoughts and I would wake up with these thoughts and it was really weird and I don't know how I got those to stop but I don't have those anymore. I remember telling myself you're not allowed to think about that and changing the subject a lot in my head um, but it's been years since that happened so I don't really know, but that was really traumatizing me because I would wake up like every hour on the hour and look at my clock to make sure I hadn't overslept. Uh, I don't know, that's maybe just because I really, really liked my job. <laughs> it was kind of weird, but that doesn't happen anymore either. Um, and I've been sleeping very well and getting up early and everything for the past few months. It's been pretty, pretty perfect. And so it took me, you know, 30 years to learn this, but. I don't want it to take you 30 years, so these are my little secrets that have helped me just learn to really get on a good sleep schedule. Um, and I'm going to re-say that again, that's at the schedule, being the same time every day is really kind of the most important part of that, I think. Alright guys, anyway, thanks for checking in and you have a great week.